Hi everyone, Sean here with Angstrom Engineering. Welcome to another Angstrom How To. Today, we're going to look at demonstrating how to change the oil in a rotary vane rough pump. We'll go ahead and remove the drain plug. In this case, with an Allen key and then we'll capture the oil as it drains from the pump. You can observe the sight glass in the end of the pump to see that all the oil is drained out. When we refill the pump, we're gonna refill to the top mark. Different pumps may have different configurations in terms of the sight glass. In most cases, there are graduations or ranges where you want the oil level to be. We'll finish draining the oil here. Some people will recommend that you tip the rough pump up to drain the oil. Rough pumps are typically fairly heavy and if it's on an elevated surface like this, I don't necessarily recommend that unless you're very careful. Uh, you don't want to drop the pump, damage it or cause injury to it yourself. We're going to go ahead and replace the drain plug. We'll wipe off some of the spillage. Open the refill cap. In this case, I'm gonna just remove the seal as well just to get it out of the way. Make sure you use a nice clean cloth to wipe up any spills, any dirt that may be on the top of the pump. Sometimes it's a good idea if the pump's really dusty just to wipe off the surface area around the drain plug before you remove it so that we don't have any contamination into the pump. It may be easier to use a funnel to refill the pump. Cuts down on spills. Refill the pump slowly while observing the sight glass. We want to fill up until we're basically at the top of the, of the line for the fill. It's important that the rough pump is not overfilled with oil. You should be able to see the level of oil in the sight glass. If there's no apparent line where the oil is, then either there isn't enough oil and it hasn't filled up the sight glass, or the sight glass is completely full of oil where the rough pump may actually have too much oil in it. And you may want to consider draining some oil out to ensure that the level of the oil is correct. Too much oil can result in the pump actually overheating as if the pump doesn't cool itself properly. Too little oil in the pump can result in excessive wear. Please be sure that you dispose of the oil in an environmentally responsible manner. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact us. We'd be happy to help.